Hello YouTubers, we've made it back to the club for another day for another episode of the vlog. Today we have the Q&A vlog and one of the first questions that was asked, what is in my smoothie? So today there's a frozen banana, frozen strawberry, yogurt and some protein powder. Absolutely delicious. Sometimes I put some oats in there to beef it up a little bit. Sometimes I change the frozen fruit but that is it for today. And we haven't seen what's going on at the front of the club for a few days and look at this a lot has changed so this is the leander marquee here massive big marquee over there and this is where sort of the leander shop is in the regatta time right here where i am standing right now this is all full the amount of people that come in here Oh, this is a little bit different this year, that's pretty cool. Then I want to, there's a tree in there that they literally make the marquee around, I'll show you that. But I spoke to the people at the club and they said we can do a, a tour once everything's finished up. But now it's time to get on the water on this wet, wet day and get rowing. So see you on the water. To the crew room after our lovely paddle this morning in the bow town lounge as mr charles wait roberts likes to say we're here with richard we're doing some q a like i've mentioned richard what question would you like to answer uh who's got the fattest watts who's in got the, the fattest watts in the eight this guy oh. <laughs> this guy this guy <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do some quick fire right ready okay why breaded egg toast why breaded egg toast because food is fuel <laughs> what are you doing this saturday uh, my parents are over this weekend, so probably having dinner with them. Opinion on single skulls? Uh, great for boat feel, but I'm really bad at them. Would be really good to work on. Yeah. What is the secret to being such a yam lord? Yam lord, eating a lot of yam and yamming on it every day in all aspects of life. Uh, what are your goals for 2020? 2020. Be as successful as possible. Is it best to eat before or after erging for maximum gains? Depending on when the timings are, you want to be fueled for the session, but you also want to be fueled post session to fuel the, the game. So How tall are you? depends. How tall am I? 205 centimeters. S and C tips. Got to lift big to get big. Talk to your coach. <laughs> and talk to your coach. Favorite type of boat outside the eight? The single. <laughs> One that goes fast. What makes the boat go faster? Yeah. <laughs> Did you prefer your peak at basketball or rowing? Oh, that's not a quick answer. Uh, I could jump. I was more explosive when I was at basketball, but I'm so much better at rowing. So maybe if I could combine the two. Can I combine the two? Best food on regatta day? Breaded egg toast. Do you edit your own videos? I do actually, yes. Funniest member of the crew? Rich. Hey. <laughs> Barney's here too. It's definitely not Barney. <laughs> Why is Richard called Big Jimmy? Yet to oh, be determined. That's one, of my, one of my boys. <laughs> right, I think that's enough for a quick fire. Uh, but because now it's time to fuel up after the paddle this morning, and then we're going to get in some full yam post this fueling up, and then get to some more questions. So let's get to it.
and we've made it off the water after some serious yam. Now I'm running low on yam. <laughs> but we're going to continue with the Q&A first. We're going to answer, there's been a lot of questions about where I learned to row. And my first, well, one of the, there was one specific, there was a lot of my first 2K, but one specifically was first 2K and then every year going from there. <laughs> so we've got the lads here, we've got Edward, we've got Big Jimmy, and we've got Learn to Row Pair, Lop Robson. Lobson. Lobson. Lop. <laughs> and Lobson. so we're going to ask Lobson. the lads for that and also where we learned to row. So I learned to row in the America the United States of them, um, at Kent School in Connecticut after, so I went there for basketball and then picked up rowing. Wait, did you play basketball? I think I played basketball at one time. No, in the, in the past. it was volleyball. That was, that, well, we, we discussed a little bit about the peaks of basketball, but I learned to row in America, picked it up and then went to uni. Robson, where did you learn to row? Uh, I learned to row at school, Arundel School, um, which is just outside Peterborough. It doesn't have a very big rowing programme, but... Um, but it produced you. Yeah, I basically I was really um, quite bad at rowing. Big old boy. Quite, quite a big old boy. Uh, enjoyed enjoyed my uh, <laughs> enjoyed my time on the sofa. Um, enjoyed my crisps. Um, and I was just trying to stay fit in the gym, doing that. And someone was like, "Oh, you should give it a go." Uh, and so I went down to the boat house and took it up. And oh. My first. Are we doing the first two k or not? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Richard, hello. Where did you learn to roll? He oh, hasn't. He hasn't. <laughs> Got him. Ed, where did you learn to roll? Hang on. <laughs> where did you learn to roll? I learned to row at the Royal Chester Rowing Club. Oh, yes. Nice and easy. Edward? Um, I learned to row at Northwich Rowing Club under the watchful eye of Jed Barlow. Oh, yes. He's been watching the videos and now he's trying to talk more eloquently. eloquently. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're talking about uh, first 2k and I mean we're not going to say every year because Ed started when he was two. So <laughs> he started growing before me. Okay. Uh, so I started growing when I was 18 and I did, I think the first 2k was 654 and then the next week, the next week I did 645, next week I did 632, <laughs> next week I did 619 um, and then the next and the fall I did six oh five. So that was why did you fall? So that was it. That was my first, that was a year at Kent I did or the, the two months of road I did at Kent. And then that was in like May, June, and then in September I did six oh five. And then the next April I did fifty nine. Then I did fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty three, fifty two, fifty. Okay. Robson? Uh, my first at L2K, I did 628. What age were you? 18. Uh, 17. 17. Um, and then I got down to like 621 or 620, I think, by the time I left school. Had a year off, gap year, and then, um, gap year. And then I got injured in my first couple of months at Newcastle. Called at 608 in my first year at Newcastle. 603 in my second year. 559 in my third year. 554 in my fourth year, 548 in my fifth year, 552 this year. Ah! <laughs> Big Jimmy? I started when I was either 14 or 15. Can't really remember. I think the first one I did was in 8 to 10. Yes! <laughs> and then... That's it, still it's PB. No, and then, and then <laughs> the next big one I remember doing was at the British Indoors. Can't remember what year it was. I think it was a year or two afterwards. And I did a 701, still got the t shirt, yes. 701 on the back. <laughs> Point three. Um, and then it's come down steadily a minute every year or two since then. A minute? A minute? Yes. So yes. You're, you're at three minutes? Yes. Yeah. No, way faster than that. I'm now like, just look at an ergo and it does 2K. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <It hurts. laughs> um, I think the first time I did a proper flat out 2K, I did a 705. What age was that? Um, 15 or 16. I did 626 and I was English rowing yeah. champion, even, though it's, even though it's not a thing. Um, <laughs> and then as a junior, so when I was 17, 2011, I did 618.9 at 75 kilos. And then a year later I did 612.7 at like 80 kilos, which I still think is probably one of my better rows. 
Um, then I went to Brooks and did 607 in my first year, so 2013. Then in my second year, so 2014, when I went to under 23s, I did six, six, <laughs> 605. Since then, pretty much 603. And that's been it. So now what we're going to do is a little bit of quick fire. I've got the questions here, but then said I did the quick fire with Jimmy earlier, so now I'm going to fire back at Jimmy and Robson. Can I finish eating my beans first? Mm -mm. No, okay. first. And Edward as well, and Robson. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out... Oh, there's a, you're 2K type, I've done that one. Concept 2 or Row Perfect? Uh, we have to use Concept 2s, but I'd rather use Row Perfect. Never been on a Row Perfect. I would much rather use a row perfect than a concept. Best food on the regatta day? Uh, I always like to have the same thing, poached eggs and avocado. I'll probably have what I normally have, a few poached eggs on toast. Uh, I don't know. Favourite book class? Uh, men's A. Mm, yeah, the A. Yeah. Probably a very quick Coxless 4. That's good. Is yam a good substitute for good technique, asking for a friend? No. Always. Both are preferred. <laughs> but as always, you can yam on all aspects of your rowing, not just yam the, the technique. Power. Yam on the <laughs> technique. What motivates you to row? Winning an Olympic medal. I want to go fast. Having fun with the boys. Proudest moment in rowing? Uh, winning handling. Getting my blade in. <laughs> <laughs> and we have reach the end of a little bit of our quick fire round. There's a couple of questions I want to no. sort of go over at the end of the video, but we've got a few up because remember food is fuel. Hopefully we've got to you questions so far, but if not, we've still got another opportunity. So we'll get to fueling up and then the last couple of questions. Oh And we've made it outside of the club for another day. As you can hear, or as you could hear, can hear, a lot of work going on behind me to finish off the Henley Royal Regatta preparations for the Henley Royal Regatta. But we've made it outside of the club for another day. And the last question I wanted to answer, or to answer, was best feeling that has come from rowing and the worst feeling that has come from rowing. Uh, I would say the best feeling, uh, I've thought I've had this asked before, so I kind of know about this one. Uh, there was a race I had at uni. We were ranked, I think, seventh or so at Eastern Sprints, and we finished off the race, or we sort of essentially we did okay in the sort of semi final. And then going into the final, we said to each other, we said, the coach said to us, essentially, why not? go full yam before the K and see what happens. We were in one of the lanes that was sort of away from all the action. We were in lane six and all the sort of, uh, the winners of the uh, semis were in sort of lane two and three or over that other side of the, the course. And then we went, so we had a good start, <clears throat> decent start. We were in the mix of things at six, 700. And then the Cox called for us, it's just, just go for it and we went full yam, all nine of the guys in the boat, and sent it. We ended up with uh, a silver, a second place, so we were quite ahead of the rankings in that respect. And the finish of the race, we also, I think we we came second, beat third place by very small margin, like point one or point two, um, and that was like a it was a, an awesome feeling to have the sort of when the whole boat moves, the whole boat commits, everybody in the boat commits to that one goal, that one idea, then it's just a, it's like a whole nother level you unlock of speed. So that would be like sort of my best feeling, getting through the line and thinking that was one of the best races we had that year. Uh, we committed as an eight together and the result was a, decent, a very good result for us uh, that year, so second place at Eastern Sprints. And then, the worst feeling that rowing has brought, I'm not so sure about that one. There's been a few failures, like I've discussed in the vlog, a few upsetting or disappointing times, 
where I've not performed to my, or what in my head, what I want to, the level I want to perform to, or I didn't get the results that in my head I wanted to get, but I don't see those as sort of like worse things in rowing because they're all part of the journey of life, etc. So I wouldn't classify those as the worst thing. So answering that side of the question is a bit more difficult because I haven't experienced really sort of, okay, that was the worst time ever. Because like I said, even though there have been some quite disappointing results for me, it wasn't sort of the worst thing ever because it is all about sort of as rowing is for me very enjoyable and it's all about that sort of getting so it's enjoying the process not just going for the final product so maybe i'll have a bit more of a think about the worst thing but as always trying to stay positive and think about the good times and then trying to make some more good times but that will be it for today's video yam squad as the sun comes out i need to get my sunglasses a little bit of a q a today asking the guys some questions always interesting to have each time i do the q a obviously there's a lot to do with sort of what's your 2k or the classic questions like that but there's always different questions every time i ask it whether that's the time of year thing or the people asking or the different people from the yam squad coming in and having different questions to ask so it's always interesting to do the q a videos and obviously i probably i might try and do it a bit more often but now that is it for the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I managed to get a little bit of yam and a little bit of chilled out as well. And as always, yam squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.